This is the body scan practice of the mindfulness course you are doing. Each time you do this practice, remember you are taking an active step to improve your own health and well-being. Finding a time and a place where you can be warm and undisturbed, where you can be comfortable, and wearing loose clothes, especially at the waist. Seeing this as a time for you, a time for being with yourself, for yourself, a time for looking after yourself and supporting your well-being, a time for opening to the healing that lies within you. Not especially trying to relax, but just being aware of each moment and sensation as we do the practice, and doing it in a way that is alert and awake if you can. Letting go of wanting things to be different and just allowing things to be as they are. Allowing you to be as you are. And being gentle with yourself. Letting go of judgment. Letting go of some sense of there being a right way of doing the practice or a right way of feeling. There is no right way. All that is required of you in this practice is just experiencing your experience right now in this moment. Not trying to create a particular experience, but just being with what is. Not trying to feel any particular way. Not relaxed or calm. That may happen, or it may not. But just bringing your awareness to any sensations you find as you focus your awareness on each part of the body in turn. Your intention is the most important quality you bring to this practice. Your sincere intention just to explore your experience as best you can. So now I'm going to guide you through the practice and I ask you to do the things I suggest only if it suits you. If it doesn't suit you, do what is best for you. That's very important. So now coming to lie on your back if that's comfortable for you perhaps on a mat or some blankets on the floor. If you have difficulty lying flat on your back, you may want to bend your knees, or you may want to sit in a chair. Just taking a few moments now to find the position that's best for you and settling into it. Allowing your eyes to close if that's comfortable for you. And now becoming aware, moving your awareness to those places where your body comes into contact with the floor. Maybe your heels and buttocks, perhaps parts of your back, your shoulders, the back of your head. Really feeling yourself held by the floor, sinking into it on each outbreath. Feeling its support. Just giving yourself over to the floor. And now bringing your attention to your breathing. The movement and flow of the breath as it comes into your body and as it goes out. Not changing your breath in any way, but just letting the breath breathe itself normally. Maybe placing your hands on your belly, feeling the changing sensations as you breathe in and out. Really allowing yourself to feel this movement in your body. The rising and falling, the stretch in the belly as you breathe in, and the relaxation of the stretch as you breathe out. Just letting the breath breathe itself. Simply observing and being curious about it. Moving in and moving out. And doing this for a few more breaths if this feels comfortable for you.
seeing your breath as a stable and safe place which is always with you and which you can always come back to at any time like an anchor holding you and bringing you back to the present. Then on an out breath, just letting go of your awareness of your breathing, letting it fade into the background. And now bringing your attention all the way down your body, down your trunk, down your left leg, past the foot, all the way to the big toe on your left foot. And noticing and exploring any sensations that are in your left big toe right now. Maybe a tingling, maybe a numbness, or heat, or cold. Or maybe the sensation of your sock touching it. Or maybe no sensation at all. So just noticing whatever it is you are experiencing in your left big toe right now. Just exploring your sensations. And allowing your experience just to be as it is, whatever it is. Then letting go of awareness of your left big toe and moving and focusing your awareness onto your left little toe. And noticing any sensations here, right now. What's going on in your left little toe? Then letting go of your awareness of the left little toe and moving in close now to the middle toes. Perhaps a sense of their touching each other or touching your sock. Just exploring. And now moving your awareness to the bottom of your left foot. The ball of your foot. And then the instep. What sensations are here for you right now? And then moving to the heel. Perhaps noticing the contact with the floor or a sense of pressure. Just noticing any sensations or none. Just being with your experience. And then letting go of your awareness of the bottom of your foot and bringing your aware focus onto your upper foot. All the bones and ligaments and tendons. And just noticing what's going on for you in this area. Are there any sensations in the top of your foot? And then letting go of awareness of the upper part of your foot and moving your awareness to the ankle now. Here's an important bony joint. What sensations, if any, are here for you right now? And then moving your awareness up to your lower leg, the muscle of the calf, perhaps where it's touching the floor. What sensations are here? And then moving around to the top of the lower leg, the bony shin. Perhaps noticing how the skin feels taut across the bone. Or how your clothing feels on the shin. And if at any time you notice that your mind has wandered away from the body scan and has got involved in thoughts or plans or daydreams or whatever, then just very gently noticing that and bringing your attention back to whatever part of the body we are currently exploring. It's the nature of minds to wander, so not thinking of this as a mistake or a fault or any kind of problem, but just noticing that you are experiencing a wandering mind 
and then bringing your attention back to the body scan as best you can, which in this case is coming back to the left shin. So now letting go of your awareness of your left shin and moving your focus to the left knee, the soft back of the knee, and the bony front, the kneecap. Exploring your sensations. Exploring your experience of your knee. And then allowing your awareness of your knee to just fade. And bringing your focused awareness to your thigh. Becoming aware of the big muscle and perhaps even becoming aware of the bone inside. Exploring the connection with the knee and the connection with the hip. What is your experience of your thigh right now? And now expanding the focus of your awareness to take in the whole of your left leg and foot and toes. So widening the beam of your awareness like the beam of a torch to encompass the whole of your left leg and foot. And if this feels right for you, imagining that when you breathe in, you're breathing air all the way down past your lungs to your leg, foot and toes, as if you're filling them with air. And then on the out-breath, imagining that the air is going out from the toes, past the feet and legs, up your trunk and out through your mouth or nose. It may take a while to get a feel for this new type of imaginative breathing, but just doing it playfully for a few breaths if this feels comfortable to you. Breathing into the left leg, breathing out of the left leg. and exploring what's happening as you do this, seeing this as another way of playing with your awareness, directing your awareness, letting your awareness ride on your breath. And then when you are ready, on an out breath, Letting your expanded awareness of your whole left leg fade into the background. And now narrowing the torch beam of your awareness and moving it again to the top of your left thigh. And then across the pelvis to the top of the right leg. And then all the way down the right leg, past the right foot, to the big toe on the right foot. And engaging now with your right big toe coming up close to your right big toe, noticing any sensations, exploring it with your awareness. And then letting go of your awareness of the right big toe and moving your focus to the right little toe. What's going on in your right little toe right now? And then moving the awareness to those middle toes. Maybe the spaces between the toes. What sensations are here right now? And then letting go of your awareness of the toes and moving your focused awareness now to the bottom of your foot the ball of the foot, the instep, the heel. What's your experience of the bottom of your foot right now? And now moving your awareness around from the bottom of your foot up to the upper foot, 
the top of your foot, all that bony, tendony area. What are your sensations here now? And now moving your awareness to the ankle and exploring. And moving your awareness up to the calf. And the shin. Just exploring your experience of your lower leg. Noticing the sensations, if any, that are here right now. Now moving up to the knee to the right knee and exploring with your awareness the, the whole of your knee, the back of the knee, the kneecap, and then moving on up to the thigh, exploring your right thigh with your awareness, exploring the sensations. Exploring the connections with the knee and the hip. Noticing any sensations or none. Just experiencing whatever is there for you right now and allowing whatever you experience just to be as it is. Exploring with curiosity. And then expanding your awareness to the whole of your right leg with its foot and toes. And again, if this feels right for you, imagining that when you breathe in, you are breathing air all the way down past your lungs to the right leg, the foot and the toes, as if you're filling them with air. And then on the out breath, imagining the air going out from the toes, up past the foot and leg, up your trunk and out through your mouth or nose. So breathing into the right leg and breathing out from the right leg. Letting your breath carry your awareness to your right leg as you explore it. And then when you're ready on an out breath, Letting your awareness of your right leg and foot fade into the background. And now bringing your focused attention to your pelvic area. Exploring this area with a gentle curiosity. Exploring whatever sensations are here. Perhaps warmth or coolness. Maybe a tingling or numbness. Maybe no feeling at all. Bringing your awareness to the pelvic bones, the bones which cradle many important organs. So just attending to this area, exploring and experiencing it. Focusing your awareness on the pubic bone. Then moving your awareness around to the hips and hip sockets. Just noticing anything you are experiencing right now in this important part of your body and letting it be just as it is. Moving around to the tailbone. Maybe noticing its point of contact with the floor. And then letting go of an awareness of the tailbone and moving to the soft muscles of the buttocks. The sense of pressure where they're in contact with the floor. Perhaps noticing the different sensations of muscle in contact with the floor and bone in contact with the floor.
Then moving your awareness now to your lower back, the sacrum. This is a place where many of us often hold tension or where there may be some pain. So as best you can, just noticing what is there for you right now. Just becoming aware of any sensations in your lower back. If at any time you become aware of an area of intense sensation in any part of your body, maybe a pain, maybe an itch, maybe some tension, maybe in the part of the body we're currently exploring, or maybe in a different part altogether, so just noticing and acknowledging that sensation. Not trying to change it, but just noticing it. Perhaps breathing into the intense area and softening around it as you breathe out. Using your breath to carry your awareness. And also using your breath as a safe anchor to hold you and center you when there are strong sensations or emotions around. And then, as best you can, coming back to the guided body scan at whichever part of the body we are focusing on now. So now letting go of your awareness of the lower back and bringing your attention to your middle back and exploring whatever sensations are there for you right now as you move up the spine vertebra by vertebra. Noticing those areas where the back is touching the floor and those areas where it isn't. Moving past the rib cage, noticing the sensations of movement in the rib cage as the breath goes in and out. And then moving to the upper back. Noticing any sensations here. And now moving your awareness to the shoulders, the scapulas, little wing bones, perhaps touching the floor. And then becoming aware of the muscles reaching from the back up to the top of the shoulders. This is another area where we often hold tension. So just noticing, exploring, perhaps breathing into and softening as you breathe out. Then bringing the focus of your awareness over the top of the shoulders to the collarbone. What's going on in your collarbone right now? What's your experience of that? Then letting go of awareness of the collarbone and bringing your attention to the chest area, the breasts or pecs. Any sensations here? And beneath that to the lung area, sensations of breathing in and out, expanding and deflating. the rising and falling of the chest. And then moving your awareness even deeper, right into the heart area. Noticing the beating, perhaps noticing its rhythm. Noticing the heart area as a whole. Is there a sense of tightness here or openness or tenderness? What are you feeling in your heart area right now? Then letting go of your awareness of the heart area and moving your focused awareness to the abdomen noticing the sensations as it moves with the breath. 
Just noticing whether it feels tight or relaxed. Becoming aware of your belly. Is it rumbling? Full? Empty? And becoming aware of all the important organs inside your abdomen. What are the sensations here right now? What is your experience of your abdomen? And now expanding your awareness to include the whole of your trunk, back and front, inside and out. Becoming aware of all the organs, the skin, the muscles, the bones, the blood vessels. And again, if this feels right for you, imagining that you're breathing into the trunk as a whole on the in-breath and out of the trunk as a whole on the out-breath. And doing this for a few breaths, experiencing the rhythm in and out. And then when you are ready, on an out breath, letting awareness of your trunk as a whole just fade into the background. And now bringing your awareness all the way down both arms, past the hands to the fingers and thumbs, and focusing your attention on the very tips of your fingers and thumbs. Are there any sensations here right now? Maybe a throbbing or a tingling? Any difference between the thumbs and the fingers? Or between those on the left and right hands? Our fingers and thumb tips are very sensitive parts of our body. So bringing your attention to whatever is going on there right now and exploring it. Then moving your awareness to the whole of your fingers. All the little bones, the joints, the ligaments. What sensations are here for you? Then focusing your awareness on the palms of your hands. This is a soft and kind of cushiony area. So what are you experiencing with the palms of your hands right now? Perhaps noticing the sensation of your palms touching something. And then moving your awareness around to the backs of your hands. Another bony area. What sensations, if any, are here right now in the backs of your hands? And then letting go of your awareness of your hands and moving your focus to your wrists another important joint. What is your experience of your wrists right now? And then moving your awareness to your lower arms. And your elbows. What's going on in your elbows? And now moving to your upper arms. Noticing the soft muscle.
bringing your awareness to the connection with the elbows and the shoulders. And then bringing your awareness right into your armpits as you explore them with your awareness. And now expanding the focus of your awareness to take in the whole of both arms, hands, fingers and thumbs. And again, if this feels right for you, imagining that you're breathing into both arms and hands on the in-breath and out of your arms and hands on the out-breath. And doing this for a few breaths. And then when you're ready on an out breath, just letting go of your awareness of your arms and hands and bringing the focus of your awareness to your neck, the throat area, and then around to the back of the neck. What sensations, if any, are in your neck? And then moving your awareness to the skull. Perhaps the sensations of where it's touching the floor. And becoming aware of your scalp. Are there any sensations in your scalp? And now bringing your focused awareness to your ears the outer ear, and then inside into the ear canal. What can you experience of your ears right now? And then moving your awareness around to your cheeks, perhaps a sense of warmth or coolness. And then to your jaw, perhaps noticing whether your jaw feels tight or loose, just being with whatever your experience of your jaw is right now. And then moving the awareness to the chin, coming up close to your chin. Any sensations here? And now bringing your focused awareness to your mouth and exploring it with your awareness. The lips, sense of dryness or moisture, maybe a sense of their touching each other or being apart. Perhaps the sensation of teeth touching the inner lips. And then moving your awareness inside your mouth and exploring the gums, the roof of your mouth, the inside cheeks, and the floor of your mouth. Just exploring your mouth. Becoming aware of your tongue. What sensations are in your tongue right now? And then moving the awareness to your throat. Perhaps experiencing swallowing. What is that experience? What are the sensations of swallowing? Just exploring with your awareness and your curiosity. And now letting go of your awareness of the mouth and moving the awareness now up to the nose. 
Any sensations on your nose? The outer nose? Perhaps becoming aware of the nostrils and the sense of cool air as you're breathing in. And the warmer sensation as you breathe out. And now moving your awareness up to your eyes, the eyeballs. Any sensations that you can detect in your eyeballs? Perhaps little tiny movements that your eyeballs are making. Perhaps the sensations of your eyelids on the eyes. Perhaps even the sensation of eyelashes, perhaps touching your cheeks. And then moving the awareness now up to the eyebrows. Can you experience your eyebrows? And the little space between the eyebrows, where we often hold a frown. What's going on in that little space for you? What are the sensations there? Then moving up to the forehead. Any sense of tightness or relaxation? Or anything else? Just being with whatever your experience is. Just exploring it. Then moving around to the temples. Perhaps noticing some kind of pulsing or throbbing. And then seeing if you can direct your awareness to the inside of your head, the brain. Do you notice any sensations there? And now expanding your awareness to take in the head as a whole, inside and out. The face, the skull, all the sensory organs, the brain, all the nerves, the blood vessels. And again, if it works for you, imagining that you can breathe into the head as a whole on the in-breath and breathe out of the head on the out-breath. And doing this imaginative breathing for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, on an out breath, letting your awareness of the head fade. And now widening, expanding the focus of your awareness to include the whole of your body, the legs, the trunk, the arms, the head. Just being in touch with the whole of your body lying here right now. And if this feels right for you, imagining that as you breathe in, a gentle cleansing breeze of air can flow into every part of your whole body, sweeping through the whole of your body, touching every cell in your body, from your head to your shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, filling your trunk, legs, feet, all the way to the toes, filling your whole body with refreshing air. And as you breathe out, imagining that the refreshing air can flow up from your toes, sweeping past every part of your body, legs, hands, arms, trunk, until it flows out of your head. So now if this works for you, just playing with this new kind of breathing for a while, letting your breath sweep through your body from your head to your toes and from your toes to your head, experiencing the entire body breathing as if filling the whole body with breath on the in-breath and letting it all go out on each out-breath. Allowing the breath to soften and refresh the whole of your body as it sweeps through.
And now letting go of any control of your breath and bringing your awareness back to your normal breathing. Just being with your normal breath as it comes in and goes out. Feeling the movement of your breath in your chest and abdomen. Just riding the natural movement and rhythm of your breath right here in this moment. Awake, aware, present, in gentle stillness. Allowing whatever you experience just to be as it is, with a sense of acceptance and letting be. Recognizing that this in itself is healing. Being awake, whole, right now in this very moment. And now returning to an awareness of where you are in this room right now. Becoming aware of the sounds around you. And in your own time, opening your eyes and beginning to wiggle your toes and fingers. And moving and stretching in whatever way your body says it needs. And when you're ready, rolling over to one side and then mindfully sitting up. And as we come to the end of this practice, as best you can, having the intention to bring this sense of awake awareness and perhaps centeredness into the rest of your day, into whatever you have left to do today.